Hi everyone and welcome to our video on some exam questions related to waves. So our first question states, small water waves are created in a ripple tank by a wooden bar. The wooden bar vibrates up and down hitting the surface of the water. The figure below shows a cross section of the ripple tank and water. Which letter shows the amplitude of a water wave? So we are given three letters here and we need to decide which one is the amplitude. Now remember, ripples in the water is an example of a transverse wave and if I draw a transverse wave over here, it would be something like this. Okay, so that's an example of a transverse wave and as you can see, the oscillations are perpendicular to the direction of energy transfer. So the oscillations are going up and down and the direction of energy transfer is left to right. So as you can see, it's at a 90 degree angle and it's perpendicular. Now the amplitude, it's the maximum, dis uh, maximum point from its undisturbed position. So the maximum displacement from its undisturbed position. And the undisturbed position is the line, which is this one over here. That's the undisturbed position there. And the amplitude is the maximum displacement. So it goes from the undisturbed position to this part. So that's the amplitude. So if we look in the image, we can straight away rule out L. We know it's not going to be L as, that, as that's showing the whole thing. And if we look, these are the waves going up and down. Now the undisturbed position is going to be in the middle of this, something like this, okay? So that tells us that it can't be J because J is telling us that the amplitude is this whole length over here, whereas the amplitude is actually only this length that we need. So we know it's going to be K because K is the maximum displacement from its undisturbed position, which is this. So the answer to this is K for one mark. Okay, if we scroll down now, next question. The speed of the wooden bar is changed so that the bar hits the water fewer times each second. What happens to the frequency of the waves produced? So if the bar hits the water fewer times, the speed has decreased because the bar is hitting the ripple tank fewer times and because it's hitting it fewer times it's hitting it fewer times per second which means the frequency is going to decrease okay so the answer to this is going to be decreases for one mark now the next question says describe how the wavelength of the water waves in a ripple tank can be measured accurately so Again, it's about getting accurate results. Now, the wave might be too hard to calculate. So you use a meter ruler. So you use a meter ruler and measure the length of 10 waves and then divide your answer by 10 to get the length of one wave. So measure the length of 10 waves and divide your answer by 10 to get the wavelength of one wave. Okay, because 10 waves are measurable. So that would get you two marks. Okay. Next question. Now it says the speed of a wave is calculated using the following equation. Wave speed equals frequency times wavelength. The water waves in a ripple tank have a wavelength of 1.2 centimeters and a frequency of 18.5 hertz. How does the speed of these water waves compare to the typical speed of a person walking? Now, the typical speed of a person walking is 1.5 meters per second. That's something you should know already. 
So the typical speed of a person walking is 1.5 meters per second. Okay. Now we're given the equation. We need to work out the wave speed and then compare it to the typical walking speed of a person. So we're given the wavelength and we're given the frequency. So we just need to multiply them and change the units. So we know that the wave speed is equal to the frequency multiplied by the wave length. Okay, now the frequency is 18.5 hertz. That's in the correct unit. So we'll keep it as that. Now the wavelength has to be in meters. So we need to convert 1.2 centimeters into meters. So all we're going to do is 1.2 divided by 100. And that's going to give us 0 0.012. Okay. And you're just going to multiply it by 0 0.012. So 18.5 multiplied by 0 0.012. Now you can just type that into the calculator and you will get 0 0.2 to two decimal places okay and remember the units it's meters per second so that's the wave speed now the walking speed is 1.5 meters per second so wave speed is that and walking speed is 1.5 meters per second so what does that tell you what does that tell you that tells you that the wave speed is slower than a typical walking speed. So the wave speed is slower. Okay, and that would get you four marks. Okay, so next question now. Waves may be either longitudinal or transverse describe the difference between a longitudinal and a transverse wave so a longitudinal wave is when the oscillations are parallel to the direction of energy transfer so longitudinal is when the oscillations are parallel to the direction of energy transfer and then we've got our transfers where the oscillations are perpendicular so oscillations are perpendicular To the direction of energy transfer okay and that would get you two mock cell so the next question says describe one piece of evidence that shows when a sound wave travels through the air it is the wave and not the air that travels itself so for this question it's worth one mark now you could have given a lot of examples i'm just going to give you one so if you're shouting through a speaker sound waves come out now sound waves if we shouted through the speaker we were we would hear a blast of air coming out of us but we don't hear that do we we only hear the sound we don't see all the air coming right out towards us. And that's just showing that the air is not moving and it's the wave which is moving because we're hearing that sound wave. We're not feeling the air which is coming out. So it's not the air which moves, it's the sound wave which moves. Okay, so you could have had a speaker, sound waves, travel and not the air when you speak through it. 
so all you do is you hear the sound and you don't hear you don't feel the air coming towards you so you don't feel air coming towards you okay and that would get you one mark okay next question it says the figure shows an incomplete electromagnetic spectrum what name is given to the group of waves at the position label a in the figure above so if we have a look over here we need to figure out what a is now a is right at the start so that means it has the longest wavelength so again something which you just need to know it's radio waves radio waves have the longest wavelength and are at the start of the electromagnetic spectrum okay now there is a mnemonic which you can remember raw meat is uh, is very unsanitary um, unsanitary except giraffes that's just one way that you can remember the order of the electromagnetic spectrum okay next question so it says electromagnetic waves have many practical uses draw one line from each type of electromagnetic wave to its use so gamma rays a use of it is to sterilize surgical instruments so you can just match that up there microwaves is for communicating with a satellite and then ultraviolet is to see security markings that would get you three marks okay final question complete the sentence use an answer from the box x-rays can be dangerous to people because x-rays are what radiation is a black body ionizing or nuclear so x-rays have a really short wavelength um, and are very penetrating um, along with gamma rays so they're dangerous because they're very ionizing okay and that would get you one more and that is it for this video thanks for watching i hope you liked it and one last thing please subscribe hit the like button and the notification bell